I created the animated logo that you see on the screen in Canva and it was actually pretty easy to create. So easy that I believe anyone, even if you are a beginner, can do it. If you are interested in this tutorial, follow every step until the end and let's go to my computer. In this tutorial, I'll be using some features that are available for Canva Pro users. But if you have a Canva free account, you can still follow this tutorial. You won't have exactly the same outcome as the one I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial, but you can create an animation that is pretty close to it. Okay, let's go to canva.com and in the search bar, let's type logo and hit enter. This is going to take us to this results page and we can browse through all these template options until we see a template that we like. I do recommend that you go for a logo that has an icon so you can play around with the icon and create a nicer animation. If you were to create a text only animation, you will have less elements to play around with. I really like this logo, it gets my attention because it has an icon that I can use for this animation and we can also insert the name of our brand in this text box. So let me show you, this is the name of the template in case that you also want to use this one. I'm going to preview this template just to show you the name of the creator in case that you want to go to his profile and use his templates. And talking about templates and Canva profiles, I also have a Canva profile that you you can follow if you want to get new templates every week. We have a lot of options for Instagram posts that are available for Canva Pro users and Canva free users. So feel free to go to my profile, check out all the templates available and follow if you like what you see. Okay, let's go back to the logo template that I selected. If you want to use any of these templates, you can click on customize this template. And before we do that, I want to show you if you are new to Canva that every template that you're seeing here without a label, these are available for all Canva users. If you are using a Canva free or a Canva pro, you can use them. If you see a template with a little crown, that means that this template is available for Canva pro users. So this template right here, it is available for free. So let me click on the template and then customize this template. Here we are inside the Canva editor and this is the template that we're going to use to create this animation. I selected this template in particular because we have an icon and the animation that I have in mind is that I want the icon to appear first, only the icon, and then for the icon to move to the left and at the same time the text or the name of the brand will appear sliding to the right. This animation is pretty easy to follow but it will require some steps. So please stay until the end so you don't miss any of the steps. The first step is to customize all the information and colors that we have on the screen. So if if you want to change the colors, go ahead. You can simply select the elements and change the colors in here. So let's say that instead of this yellow green color, we can go to color and change it for the color that you wish. I'm going to stay with the colors that we have in here. And then if you want to change the name of your brand, you can double click and then you have access to this text box. You can change the name. So let's say that I want to name my brand Radiance. Also, if you want to change the font or if you want to adjust anything to this text box, you will have all the options on this wide toolbar. You can change the font, the font size, and you have some other options if you want to keep adjusting your text box. In order for us to create our animation, we need to reverse engineer. So what I want to do now is to create the final scene and then we can start creating the animation or the way we want the elements to appear or to move. So what I want is for this icon to be on the left hand side of my text. So let's do that. Let me 
reduce the size of this text box. Let's position it to the middle of the page and then let's move this icon to the left. And then let's move both elements to the middle of the page. So these two elements should be to the middle and to center. You will see that Canva will help you with these pink guides. So once you see the guides appearing, that means that both elements are situated in the middle or in the center of your canvas. Now let's start with the animation steps. And after that, I will show you how to add music to your animation. We're going to add some guides to this design so we know where our elements will be positioned at the end of this animation. This is the final scene, so let's go to File, View Settings and then Show Rulers and Guides. Now we can create guides by clicking on the rulers and dragging your mouse to the right or you can create horizontal guides by clicking on this top ruler and dragging your mouse downwards. I'm creating these guides so I can see clearly where my icon and the text is going to be positioned. Now that I have these guides, I can start building my animation app. Now I want to position this icon in the middle of the screen because I want the animation to start like that. I want the icon to be in the middle and then to move to the left. So by having the icon selected, go to position and then hit center. It is already positioned to middle, so let's click center. Now I'm going to bring this icon in front of the text. So I'm going to click on the three dots, go to layer and bring to front. Now let's move this text to the left because if you remember, I want the text to appear sliding to the right and then the icon to move to the left. Now I just need to add one more element to hide the text that we're seeing here. Let's go to elements and select a square shape. Increase the size of this shape and then change the color so it matches the color that we see in the background. Then go to position and move this layer backwards so we can see the icon. Now that we have the first scene of this animation ready, we're going to start adding the animations so we have all the elements moving at the same time. Let's start with the icon. Select it and go to animate. Today we're going to use a new feature in Canva which is this one and it is very very easy to use. So clicking here and now we are ready to start building the animation. We just need to select and drag an element around the canvas to create an animation. I just need to create a simple animation so I will move this icon to the left but I will hold shift at the same time to create a straight line. So you have here some tips. I'm going to use the first tip here. Holding shift, I start dragging my element and I'm going to end where I want the element to be positioned. So I know that this is the little square where the icon needs to end. So my animation or the movement ends there. You can preview the animation in here. If you leave it as original, you will see that the movement is not very smooth because my hand was not very steady. So you can see how the animation looks on smooth and steady. You can choose the one that you prefer. I think I'm going to go for steady and then hit done. We're going to add the same animation to this shape so we can start slowly making the text appear. So selecting the shape, go to animate, create an animation and we're going to do exactly the same. So holding shift and moving this box to the left. There you go. You can see if you like better original, smooth or steady. I'm going to go again with steady and then hit done. Now I need to add the animation to the text box. So I'm selecting here both elements, my shape that has the same color as the background and the text box. So I need to deselect this shape. So I'm holding shift and clicking on the shape. Now I only have the text box selected. Go to animate, create an animation and now we are going to add the animation to the text box. I'm going to drag this text box to the right until it reaches the desired position. I'm going to use the guides to know exactly where to stop. So holding shift, 
to create a straight line and then move to the right until the desired position. I'm gonna go with steady for the text box as well and then you can play around with the speed if you want one element to move slower or faster. So in this case I wanted my text box to move a little bit slower so I'm moving the slider to the left so the text box doesn't appear too fast and the other icons are still moving. So let me show you. If I were to leave the animation of the text box this fast, the text will move to its final position really quick and then the icon will still move slowly. So I want all the elements to have the same speed and that's why I am adjusting the speed of my text box. I want them to stop the movement almost at the same time so you can play around with the speed of all of these three animations and see what works best on your case. Once you are ready, hit done. If you want to preview your animation before downloading it, go to the navigation bar on top, select the preview icon, and from here you will have a preview of your animation. Now, if you want to add music to your animation, you can use the Canva library. Go to elements and from here you can search for audio and see all. You can scroll down or you can use the search bar to find whatever you want. I'm gonna use one of the songs available in here so it is under the ambient category and it is this one. Wisdom in the Sun, this one it is available to all Canva users and to insert this song into my animation I just need to click. I have the song or the track inserted in the animation and I can play to see if I like the selection selection of the song. So you will see that the song is longer than 5 seconds and we just have 5 seconds of the song and we can change the selection. So let me see if I like what I hear. I actually like the selection but if you wanted to select a different section of your song or your track, double click on this line and then you can move around the selection. So let me see. This is not bad but I think I'm gonna stay with the first selection. I'm gonna adjust just a tiny bit the selection. I'm gonna go to audio effects and add a fade out effect to my track. So let me see how this sounds. I think this fade out effect makes the end of the animation sounds better. Okay, we have everything ready, we just need to download our final animation. Right now we are seeing the guides, but don't worry, these are just guides, this won't be visible on your final result. But if you want to see the final outcome on your canvas, you can go to File, View Settings and deactivate this option that says Show Rulers and Guides. So we can see better the animation at the moment and we can go to share, download, mp4 video. This is the suggested file type but you could also download it as a GIF. It depends on how you're gonna use this animation and then you can hit download. If you have a Canva Pro account you can increase the quality of your animation and then select download. By the way, if you have a Canva free account and would like to have access to all these Canva Pro features, you can use our 45 day free trial. I'm going to leave the link in the description. And this is the final outcome. After creating this animation, I started getting a lot of ideas on how to animate logos, but I'm still not sure if you enjoy this type of content, so I really need for you guys to leave me a like if you liked this tutorial, and also let me know in the comments if you want me to create more tutorials showing you different types of logo animations or any kind of animation. If I see that this tutorial 
tutorial has more likes than any other tutorial on the channel and I see that many of you are interested in seeing more animation ideas, I could create another tutorial similar to this one but with a different idea in a future tutorial. If you want to get new Canva templates every week, you can follow my profile. I'm gonna leave the link in here. And I do recommend you watch this other tutorial in which you will learn how to create a next level animation in Canva. I think this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!